Recently, I've replaced one of my quadcopters and put the multi Wii back in the spares bin and replaced the controller that sat on the top with an APM 2.5. Now, I really like the APM 2.5, I think it gives you a lot of bang for the buck. I really like the mission uh, parameters and it's much easier to set up than some of the other bits and pieces. But the reason I've made this video is because I want to show you a problem with Mission Planner and how you fix it. So here we are, we have Mission Planner, this is build 1.3.5 and um, I've had a real problem connecting to the model. So we're connecting via USB. And let me show you how long it's going to take. So if I just plug the USB into the laptop. And then I plug in the model itself. And what I'm actually going to do is put, using my iPhone, I'm actually going to put the timer at the side so that you can see how long it actually takes. Okay, so there's the stopwatch at the side. So I'm going to plug it in now there we go it is com 21 i know that for sure and i'm going to click on connect and start the timer don't worry we won't sit here and wait i'll speed up the video for this next bit there we are click on connect start So it took 48, just under 49 seconds to start getting the parameters and bits and pieces from the model itself. Now that when you're trying to upload or double check something is tortuous. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to do it again, but this time, if I press disconnect, this time what we'll do is we'll actually unplug the little Bluetooth adapter that I've got installed here. Now, interestingly, the Bluetooth adapter is something that I didn't have in this little uh, netbook that goes everywhere with me. When we first started uh, this, it was actually added to Bluetooth to MultiWi. So now we've got that taken out. What we'll do is we'll unplug the APM. We'll replug it in. And this time, Without the Bluetooth dongle plugged in, I'll click on connect and we'll see how long it takes this time. Two seconds. So the reason I made this video was just to show you that if you're having problems with a machine where the mission planner is taking an age to connect to the APM 2.5 or 2.6, Pull out any Bluetooth dongles that you have, because that's the problem. Hopefully that helps some of you out there that are trying to fix this. I've tried everything, reinstalled the .NET framework, reinstalled Mission Planner, and wasted a ton of time over the last two days for the simple thing of pulling the Bluetooth adapter. Thanks for watching, happy flying, and if you need any help out or support, my Help Out channel is now available. Speak to you soon.